Right there, drivers with the fire suits, safety suits, if you will, racing seats and harnesses, helmets. They may not be quite as fast, but they're putting on a pretty good show here tonight. They uh, do a little darting around here and there. 12 laps of racing, our mini stock main event, and already we may have a problem here. Looks like the eight car, uh, Murray Armstrong, he had some problems earlier tonight. The thing just, just didn't want to run, and that may be the problem again. And while you uh, take off a little time for the racetrack, our beautiful Postal Auto Mart Trans Am, the pace car. So one more time around, Tim McEwen says, let's bunch them up a little bit here and get ready to go racing. Now as you take a look at the cars, we mentioned inverted starts. However, Doug Pulver will be starting in front of the five car of uh, Gary Standifer. We're guessing that Gary may have said, listen, go ahead and start in front of me. I'm new at this, my car is slower. I don't want to get in your way because I'm just learning my way around here. So stand up for a hang back there and just kind of watch how things develop in front of him. And they're starting to get on the gas out of three and four. Here they come, and there's the green. And very quickly trying to get that inside line. Randy Dean in the three car in the Ford Pitto with the 52 car. Ray Middleton, the blue car, right behind it. And the other Middleton brother. Bill in the 29th car, and then Jeff Field back forward. 12 laps of racing. Randy Dean in the Ford Pitto raced uh, street stocks out here and uh, spent some time on the dirt. He would very much like to win a main event. I don't believe he has ever won a main event in competition, either on the dirt track or the asphalt. He'd like to do it here in this mini stock event. earlier that these cars do run a stock exhaust system as well so you can see they, they don't uh, have quite the, the sound of your other division of race cars and Doug Pulver says okay now it's time to get to, get to work on these guys look out the Middleton car going way high Ray Middleton the 29 car just pushing it a little heavy and Doug says I think I'll try the inside line that seems to be the place to be as Doug Pulver and picks up third place now as we're in the lap number four. These guys turning laps at about 21 to 22 seconds. Top speed of these cars, I would guess these cars are probably hitting about 60 miles an hour, maybe on the back straightaway. They may not look that quick. Let's remember our super stock cars are approaching 100 miles an hour at times. Just about freeway speeds. And Doug Pulver says, well, you know, I got some time left here, but I'm going to have to try and work on these guys. He's going to look on the inside of the 52 car as Randy Dean gets around Stanford. Now Doug Pulver pulls into second place. He's got plenty of racing time left. We are right now halfway through this 12 lap event. Dean in the three car. By the way, he runs number three because uh, Dale Earnhardt is his hero, so I don't know what that means. But now Doug Pulver says, okay, let's see if I can uh, make the magic run. This car around the American May car. Pulver running the only four at May car, in fact, the only non Pinto in this class at the moment. We did have that Toyota on the racetrack earlier before. Murray Armstrong had a problem, and let's see, still Dean, Dean sees him probably now and says, hey, I want to try and keep this inside line. He got to work for it, takes him right up against the wall, and Homer beats him back to the line. And Randy Dean says, I'm going to hang on just as long as I can. And to make uh, Doug work for it here, Doug saying, well, wait a minute, I've been winning everything. him off, if you're the leader of the race and you've got a faster car behind you, just use up the racetrack if you can do it. That's nothing wrong with that. You've got the right to take whatever line you like, and Doug's going to have to work for this one. As we're in the lap number 10, we will have two laps to go, and once again, Dean takes him right up to the line, and Doug Hooper says, 
Now, wait a minute here. I'm going to make a move eventually. And Dean does not have the cornering speed. And Polo slips by on the inside. Dean on the outside. behind him. Dean does not appear to have the horsepower to make a move here in this closing lap. Third place car is the 52 car of Gray Middleton. This young Dillman is going to have to have Young Homer. Randy Dean. Ray Middleton. Bill Middleton. And making it back on the racetrack, uh, finishing up this event anyway. Maury Armstrong in the eighth car and the five car of... Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that maybe uh, the Pulver family is going to have a yard sale for some of these trophies in the weeks to come if they don't have enough room on the mantle? Use it for a doorstop or something? My goodness. It takes about uh, six, six trophies in, in two nights of racing. Not, not a bad deal, really. 